Hey everybody, so let's take a look at generating music with artificial intelligence using Magenta in Ableton Live. So go over to the Magenta website, magenta.tensorflow.org, click on Get Started, Magenta Studio, Ableton Live Plugins, and download the plugin for your platform. Switch over to Ableton Live, and on track one, just drag the Magenta Studio plugin right onto track one. This is going to take a minute to load. Sometimes you'll get an error the first time you load Magenta Studio. That happens. Just delete it and drag it in again. It typically works the second time. This time it worked the first time. That's great. Um, so we're going to look at the generate function of Magenta. And what you notice right away is that there's no text prompt. Magenta starts from random values, and it accesses a large model trained on a lot of different music in a lot of different styles. And so it's going to give you a wide range of results right from the beginning. And there's a way we can refine that later that we'll look at. So let's generate some drums first. We'll click on drums, and we'll put these on track two, starting in slot one. We'll create four drum variations. And temperature is also a measure of randomness inserted into the generation process. The higher we turn up the temperature, the more variation and the more craziness we're going to get um, in the patterns we generate. Click Generate, and it's generated four drum patterns for us. We can rename these tracks to make things a bit clearer. We can rename the first track Magenta, second track Drums, and we're going to need a drum sound. Uh, so we can go here to drums, pick a kit, drag it onto the drum track. I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit here and listen to what the AI generated for us. That's pretty good. Don't like that one very much. Just delete it. Hmm, it's a good beat. Hmm, a little scattered. Can rearrange these as we like them. And they're going to sound quite different depending on what kit it's played on. So I just picked this 808 kit. I could select my kit and just try a different kit. So you're going to get quite different sounds depending on what kit the pattern is being played on. And if you double click, you can actually see the individual notes that make up the pattern. And if there's some that you don't like, you can delete them, remove them. I actually don't like this sound at all. I can highlight all those and just switch them to a different sound. I like that quite a lot. Let's listen to our other one again. Yeah, I like the second one a lot better, so I'm just going to stick with that one as our basic drum track. Let's generate a melody. And you see we don't have any MIDI tracks left. Uh, Magenta only works with MIDI tracks. We just have these two audio tracks left. We can delete those and insert a MIDI track by right-clicking and choosing Insert MIDI Track or hitting Command-Shift-T. We'll make a couple MIDI tracks because we're going to need them. And switch back over to Magenta, relaunch our Generate, and this time we'll generate a melody. We can change this track name to Melody. generate a melody, 
on the melody track, starting with slot one, generate six variations, temperature of 1.1, and there it's generated six melodies. We'll assign an instrument for these by dragging an instrument onto the melody track and listen to what it gives us. And notice we've got controls where we control the parameters of the sound here or randomize the parameters of the sound. line than the melody, but it's a keeper. A little cheesy. Mm, potential. Let's just go with this one. That's pretty good. And that's pretty good too. So why don't we do this? We'll look at another tool. I'm going to take these two, the 2-6 and the 4-6, go back to Magenta Studio, and now I'm going to open the Interpolate tool. And with the Interpolate tool, I'm able to create a number of steps between the two clips. So I say this is a melody. My input clips are on the melody track. And clip A is going to be this clip, 2, 6. Clip B is going to be the other clip, 4, 6. And I'm going to create five steps between them. And this is really where the AI starts to show its relevance. I've got two different melodies, and it's going to interpolate between them. It's going to create variations that are neither one or the other. Generate that and they come into the same track. And now we can hear, we're gonna have something very close to two six here and very close to four six here. And we're gonna have something very close to a midpoint between them here. pretty interesting process and we can drag these then into a way that sort of makes sense because we started with 2 6 we've created this series of interpolations between them and we're ending with our clip B and this is clearly much more of a bass line than it is a melody so let us rename this as bass and go back in and actually try to generate some melody. And even though this is not a bass instrument, it's working quite well for this sound, so we'll just leave it, even though it doesn't come from the from the bass category. Um, it's, it's a synthesizer that's functioning as a bass. So uh, we'll go back to Magenta Generate, generate four bars on our melody track, I'm going to try a low temperature here. 
starting with clip slot one, see what it gives us. We're going to need a sound here as well on the melody track. Some synthesizer keys. We're going to want to get this into the same key, so we'll go to our MIDI effects and drop a major scale onto this. It's not necessary, it actually sounds pretty good in this case, but uh, we should realize that it some of the notes are not going to work together because they're not in the same scale and key. Works very well. Really like these. See how it works with the other bass line. Ah, and this is not in the scale as well. The fact that these aren't matching up uh, are because the bass line isn't yet into a scale. So we can go to MIDI effects, scale, and place this into the major key. And I really like this, but I want some more material. So this is where our final tool from Magenta comes into play, Continue. We can take this Melody 6-6 six, six, and we can generate four variations on it that are longer. And here's four long variations on that same melody. Notice they all start with the original theme and then the variations appear. These are terrific. So once you've got some material that you like, it's a matter of taking it and switching out of the session view and into the arrangement view. So we'll take our drum, grab it, so we're dragging it around, hit the tab key and drop it into the drum track in arrangement view. And then click this button here to make this track play from the arrangement view.
and we only get one loop so we can just click on the end and drag it out as far as we want and we can do the same with the other material so hit the tab to switch back grab the material that we want hit tab drop this into the bass track we have a couple versions of the bass line so we'll bring them bring a couple of them in this one's quite nice I think this one was quite nice also and we'll do the same thing for our melodies arrows to make them live in the track and now we're playing in a view where we can move and resize Here I drag down onto another track, but I don't have an instrument there yet. So I'll put an instrument on this. Drag it onto the track. And also we want to, under MIDI effects, put it into the same scale and key. See what that does. feels a little bit too low, I can use this transpose to raise everything uh, by an octave. A musical octave is 12 steps. So if you transpose by 12, it's just not a very interesting sound. Let's try a different instrument. Ambient computer bell, all right. And notice they're not quite playing in unison because I dragged them in out of sync so I could have them be in sync with each other. Or by shifting them out of sync, this bell is going to be an echo. Or I could just drag in another whole melodic idea by hitting tab, going back here, tab again, and now there'll be two melodies happening. They'll start together but they'll drift apart here where they vary.
All right, so you can see how easy it is to take this material, build something pretty interesting pretty quickly with it. And one other thing I should point out is that you can also, in this view, vary aspects of the music, vary the individual notes, and if you vary something in a loop, notice that every instance changes every time the loop comes around. So if I were to take this whole thing and move it down, notice it moves down in three places. And the same thing would happen on the drum track. If I make any variation here, it's going to change every place that comes around. And if I want to stop doing that and be able to make individual changes, I can right click any clip and consolidate it. And that will allow me to make an individual change to a note without changing the looped variations of the note. Of course, you want to Command-S, save your work, and uh, have fun with this.